plaintiff, Brittany Lytle, dated the defendant, and she's currently pregnant with his child. Brittany claims the defendant cheated and became abusive. And after he found out that she was pregnant, he threatened her unborn baby. And she has the text to prove it. She's suing her ex for the cost of a vehicle and emotional distress. Defendant Lameek Moses says when he first got with Brittany, she knew he didn't want a serious relationship. And she was fine with it because she was and still is married. Lameek is countersuing for emotional distress. I'll start with you. Okay. When I was 14 years old, Lameek and I dated. We reconnected in June of 2014. We started dating in how old, how old were you then? I was 26. Okay. 25. Um, September of 2014, we started dating. Um, things progressed really fast. I moved in with him. Uh, how long after reconnecting or dating did you move in with him? Like within a month. Plus okay. I got pregnant. Like within that month. Okay. Um, once we found out I was pregnant, you know, things basically went downhill. Why do you think that is? Um, I found out he was cheating with multiple girls. Like, I actually found out he had somebody pregnant while I was pregnant. The girl came to the house trying to fight me, all ghetto outside, um, screaming she was pregnant by him. She was still involved with him. So it was, yeah, that was just crazy. How did you all's relationship end? When did you leave or? I left in December of 2014. I found him in a bed, butt naked with a, another girl. Not the one that he allegedly got pregnant, a different one. Yeah, it was multiple girls he cheated on me with. <laughs> I'm sorry, Your Honor. Go ahead, what do you want to say? First off, to start, to, to start off, when we first started, when we first came back in contact with each other, I told her from the jump, like, I don't want no relationship right now. Kind of a, no ladies, man, I'm single, live by myself. You know what I mean? Why not? And in the same breath, she was cool with that because, you know what I mean? She, she's married, Your Honor, and still is married. You know what I mean? So, is that true? I'm separated. So, in that, so with that being. You were like, married when he impregnated you? <laughs> yeah, I'm separated. So uh, during that during that time, I'm thinking like, nah, it ain't gonna be nothing long term. But you moved I'm, her in. It was more like a helping me help you type thing. It wasn't I, like we're together. I didn't it was more like we could have did a roommate thing. No. It was, it was a, the type of position she was in at that time. Did he ever tell you he wasn't gonna date any other women? Yes, exactly. Because you said time you moved in, you discovered that he was dating a bunch of women. No, once I got like we found out I was pregnant. I was like a month and a half after. Like, After you moved in. Yeah. Your Honor, um, like I was saying, we, we did we did move a little fast, moved around, whatnot. When she did become pregnant, her mood switched. Her attitude switched. That's a lie, like, Your Honor. Let her finish. From like from just being violent to when break things and everything like that. It got it got to the point to where we wasn't connecting how we was connecting in the first six weeks. You know what I mean? So we agreed, we agreed on having an abortion. We I mean, did not agree on having an abortion, We Your agreed Honor. on having an abortion, Let him finish Your Honor. His time. Mm -hmm. uh, we agreed on that. Uh, she didn't follow along with that agreement. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, after that, uh, after December, after December when we did break up, when she came in the house and found the girl, uh, that is true. She knew this from this jump. I'm, I, you know what I mean? I wasn't ready for a relationship. You're married, so I'm thinking like, okay, we, I already know this. You should have said, well, get back to me when you're divorced, if you thought that would make a difference in your opinion of her. I don't. I met her, I actually met her when, when we uh, met in June 2014. She was with a boyfriend. Uh, she, I was at work, so she was with a boyfriend. What do you mean? I, she I, was going with him at that time? Yeah, or I was her at, husband. No, it was her boyfriend. I don't know where her husband at. It was a boyfriend. I was at work. I was at work. I, I, that's how I seen her. I was at work. I came from the back. I cooked. So I came from the back, seen the table, see how many heads, seen her. Hey. Who was she with at that her time? Her boyfriend. Her boyfriend. That was around met her, she was with her boyfriend. <laughs> yes. Yes. So we exchanged numbers and whatnot. That's right what I, while her boyfriend was there. Yeah, we, yeah. We could, she went outside. We went outside and talked. He was inside. 
I got her numbers, you know what I mean? To top that off, she was already married. Yes. Did that happen? I was, yeah. All but right, we didn't so start man, dating. That, I mean, a guy's not gonna respect that. He may even have a little resentment. She's like this? She's gonna give me her number, right, with her man with her? That's before I, I knew she was married, Your Honor. I yeah, did, now I, I find out married. now she's also married? I did. Oh, I don't know what I think of her. Your Honor. Oh, well, let me just do my thing. If she don't have any character, I'm gonna just be the way I want to be. Your Honor. He had no respect for you because of what you did. Yeah. I do respect her as... as because she has a daughter, so I, I do respect her as a mother. She definitely take care of her daughter. Be quiet. Uh, yeah, what you suing me for? I respect her as a mother, not as a girlfriend. You know what I mean? Not as a girlfriend. He should have told me that. He should have told me that. How does he owe you for a car? Let's start there. I, um, my license got suspended in, 2000, in September 2014. We both needed to get back and forth to work, so I decided to put, um, my car in... Mr. Moses's name, so we both can get back and forth to work. Um, once I found out he was cheating, I asked him to sign the title back over to me. He stated he would as soon as the title came. The title, when I would ask him where the title was, he would basically tell me it never came, which was a lie. Now that we're broken up, I want either my car back or the money I paid for the vehicle, and he refuses to return my vehicle. What do you say to that, sir? That's my, that's my vehicle. Your Honor, uh... You pay for it? Nope, she gave it to me. Okay. Uh, why she gave it to I would not me? give him a vehicle and leave me and my daughter stranded why without a vehicle. Why she gave me... Mm -hmm. Why she give it to you? This is what she said, Your Honor. You can put my truck in your name. You can have the truck. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna not get true. another... Why? I'm gonna get another vehicle around tax time. Mind you, tax time right around the corner. Mm -hmm. that, that's, that's what happened. Mm -hmm. Now, I guess she thought we was gonna last mm -hmm. until tax time. We didn't. So then now that it broke up, she wanted the truck back. You mm -hmm. gave me that truck mm -hmm. before any any mm -hmm. type of warning or this or that. You gave me that you truck. You broke? Huh? You're broke? Very, Are you broke? Very broke, Are you Your broke? Honor. Broke. No money. No. Broke without money. No. Yes, okay, very well, broke. Why can't you just give a woman her truck back? If there's a misunderstanding, she believes it wasn't a gift. It was not you a gift. You believe it was. Okay. And you're not broke. So get a woman a truck back. No. People give there gifts back all the time. Judge. Unless you broke. Excuse me. Excuse me. You broke. broke. That's no what it, money. I'll buy that watch for me. How much that watch go for all them diamonds? <laughs> Your Honor. How much fake. that go for all them diamonds? <laughs> It's Ten dollars a honor. diamond? Yeah, what, man? <laughs> <laughs> go, go get a hundred dollars. Matter of fact, Donna. I might have a hundred for you right here. He needed. Give you a hundred for that. I'm gonna get you some of your money right now. <laughs> 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 I do. I got a twenty. Get yeah, that your watch, honor. man. Get you some of your money, your buddy. Honor. Need it. Twenty bucks for the watch. <laughs> <laughs> I guess now I'll have a deal. I, I don't have a deal. Your Honor, and your emotional distress is for what? Lamik became verbally abusive to me, emotionally abusive to me. He would threaten to beat me up. He would threaten to kill my baby. Your Honor, I have text messages where he's threatening to come to my mom's house mm -hmm. and beat me up, and he's threatening to kill my baby. And it, um, to do this, sir. Yes, I did it, Your Honor. And it wasn't, it wasn't, um, it wasn't by heart. It wasn't meant. It, it was, was. It was. I was out very of, scared of this man. It was out of betrayal. I had to move out I felt of my apartment. Betrayed. But at the same time, Your Surprise Honor, that's, that SH that's at the ain't time. Ain't die yet. I didn't. Want I hope and pray exactly. it don't make it. See, now I if hate I, you. I kept my text messages. Stop Honor, texting me before I make you lose that SH. Oh my God. Get lost. I'm about to just come beat your A and kill the baby. Exactly. Yeah, I'm going to beat your A. I never you did none of it. You ain't getting off that easy. I never did none of it. Every time I see you after this A whooping, it's on site. He would say that to me. Now, if you if you ask me today how I feel about her having that baby... For, so. You know what I mean? I, I love how my... Does I, you, I you, love you how know does she owe you, sir? How does she owe you? How does she owe you? I don't yeah, feel like I'm suing her. her. She got a whole baby on the way that I'm not prepared for, that I done took steps in my life to get prepared for, as far as getting... I already got two jobs. I'm working on the third one. I done, I done went from a one-bedroom to a studio for this little girl. I didn't even, you know, postponing my, uh, my school for September 
until January. You know That's what I mean? That's what you're supposed to so, do. But at the same time, at the beginning, no, I did not want it. If you ask me now how I feel about it, I'd be like, fast forward. I can't wait to meet her. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I do apologize for that. I do apologize for them texts, but I didn't mean none of them or whatnot. Did he, uh, so I do apologize. Did he put his hands on you, ma'am? One time, Your Honor, one time. When? It was... It was late November or early December. He came from the club drunk. I had an attitude because he was two hours late. He tried to make me get out the house. I would not leave. So he grabbed me by my hair and dragged me down the stairs and locked me out the house. That is, I was, that's for sure. It was November and we stay in upstate New York. That's it was sure. freezing outside. All I had was a silk robe on and my cell phone. I had to call my best friend to come get me and I was out there for an hour. Plus, I was pregnant at the time. Your Honor, that is, that is false. What happened that night, came in, you know, from the club, four in the morning. She was mad that I came in four in the morning. Mm -hmm. Started, ah, 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 ah. So I'm like, okay, well, well, no, what you gonna do? She decides with her attitude, I don't need to be here, da, da, da. She walks out the house. In her, in her robe. robe. Yeah, because she, she was mad like that. Right. In the morning. Yeah, mm -hmm. she was mad like what that. Happened? So then, what happened, she done, she done got outside, forgot she didn't have her key. Closed it, locked it, bow. She can't get in now. Now you mad? All right, sir. Your claim for emotional distress is denied. Um, the car. I'm not convinced that she she gave, gave it, it to, to you <sighs> uh, at all. Your Honor, he was um, supposed to take me back and forth to work. I, I lost it, my job. I got it. I got it. All that, ma'am. You all put yourselves in these circumstances. So don't come and all I'm dealing with is this car. That's all I'm going to deal with today. You all have made all these mistakes with each other and you have to live with them. Um, all I'm here to rule on today is the property. I give you some money for the property. And had you been able to unequivocally prove to me that he uh, assaulted and battered you physically, particularly on more than one occasion, but one is enough. I would have granted you emotional distress. But arguments, things said in the heat of anger, all that is stuff that goes on in the course of immature relationships and everybody that has arguments and says the worst things in the world to each other can't go to court and collect money for it the next week. People don't get financial awards from a judge for dysfunctional relationships. But he did they, put that his otherwise hands on the him. course would be full every day. Nothing else would be heard other than cases regarding couples who argue. You all work out your private issues and your dysfunctional relationship on your own. Judgment for the plaintiff. Good luck. Have a good day. That's my review. I'm going to be here for my daughter. That, that's not the problem. She the problem. But I got her. As long as he's here for the baby, that's all that matters. Like, everything else is irrelevant.